Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing six different DIY Dollar Tree Christmas decor items. I had so much fun making this video and I love how everything came out. Super inexpensive and super easy. So if you're interested in seeing how I made these things, keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to make is a super easy candle holder. I'm just using that glue that you saw right there and a candle holder as well as one of these little candle trays that I found all from the Dollar Tree. Just going to put some glue on the candlestick holder and literally just press it onto this little candle plate and that is pretty easy if you ask me. After that has dried, I'm just going to go ahead and paint it with this white acrylic paint and let it dry and that is literally it. You can leave it clear if you'd like. That glue that I showed you in the first clip does dry clear, so that's perfectly fine if you want to leave it clear, but of course I wanted to paint mine white. You could definitely spray paint this as well, but I just had acrylic paint right there in front of me, so I grabbed that. And I was super happy with how it came out. I absolutely love it. I feel like when you paint with acrylic, it gives it like a wood look. So that's why I like doing it this way. Next, we are going to make our beautiful wreath. I wound up using all of these little flowers here except for the two larger flowers. So first, I'm just cutting the flowers that I got from the Dollar Tree. If you have scissors, you just kind of like cut it and then bend it and that's how they break off. If you have wire scissors, that's even better, but I don't. I also got this little green ring foam from the Dollar Tree, so I'm just going to go ahead and stick all of this onto my wreath. You can see there's already some holes in this, that's because I didn't like the way it came out the first time, so I redid it and that is the great thing about the foam, it is forgiving. You can paint the foam if you'd like, you can wrap it in ribbon, but I just left mine green because I had enough flowers on it to pretty much cover it and it's going to be leaning up against a mirror, I think is where I'm going to put it. I also got this ribbon from the Dollar Tree as well. And next up is the easiest one of all, I found this tin at the Dollar Tree and this was a ornament that I found and I'm literally just using that same exact glue that I got from Michaels, putting it on the snowflake and then putting it onto the tin and I'm going to make this into a little pot. And this is how it turned out. I love it. It's really cute and just looks fresh yet wintry. And I also got the greenery from there and this is what it was called. I saw this little mirror at the Dollar Tree and it automatically reminded me of a snowflake. So what am I doing? I'm turning it into a snowflake candle holder using acrylic paint and glitter. This is the same white paint that I used on my candle holder that I made previously. I'm just painting it all and then I'm going to sprinkle some glitter on it. I also got the candle and the candle holder from the Dollar Tree as well and this is gorgeous. Now we're moving on to our tiered tray. I'm literally using these plastic plates and champagne flutes that I got from Dollar Tree. They came for, for a dollar. I'm gonna use glitter and some of these snowflakes that I also found from Dollar Tree. I'm just pouring it into the champagne cups, the glitter, and then the snowflakes. You could add like the little jingle balls in here. You can do anything you want. Here we go with that same glue. I'm just gluing it around the rim of the cup and then I'm going to put the plate right on top and continue doing that for how high as I want my tower. You can use this tower for um, cookies, for a party, something light since it is a very, very lightweight tower. I just used it for Christmas decor. I loved how it looks and I might actually add some lights to it. The green on here were the leftover leaves from my wreath, and then the pine cones and magnolias are from the Dollar Tree as well. Last but not least, find a very cute Christmas bag or holiday bag that you like from the Dollar Tree. 
put it in a Dollar Tree frame and that is literally it. I actually learned this from Love Meg like years ago and I've been doing it ever since. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see more Dollar Tree DIYs, please leave a comment and give this video a thumbs up. Okay.